Chris Walker was a soldier who was deployed to Afghanistan, which explains his enormous ability to run and fight. After the war, he worked for the Murkoff Corporation as a security guard, manning the security cameras in one of the many surveillance rooms at Murkoff's therapeutic clinic in Texas. It was there that he received the nickname Strong Fat and where psychological disorders driven by the desire to kill gradually began to surface. Walker, as can be seen, is overweight, although this doesn't prevent him from being one of the most powerful and robust variants, as well as being quite fast, running almost as fast as miles, and being able to jump over obstacles to reach him, despite not being able to enter narrow spaces. It should be noted that he is also very tall, measuring almost 7 feet. Chris Walker lacks lips, besides having lost much of his nose and part of his forehead, which he himself ripped off. In Outlast, the Murkoff account, Paul, and Pauline were sent to investigate a series of murders, discovering that it was Walker himself who condemned three inmates to death in the asylum. It was thanks to that Chris Walker was taken to Mount Massive Psychiatric Hospital to be employed within Project Wallrider, dooming his even greater rage and driving him into complete uncontrol, making him the most bloodthirsty variant in the entire mental asylum. Having been chained to his legs and hands, when he escaped he didn't take them off, but rather broke them. His characteristic sound lets you know if Walker is hovering nearby. He wears patient pants and boots as his only clothing. It is noted that whenever Miles hides, he grabs his victim by the neck and then throws him. Walker is capable of ripping someone's head from their body. He seems to like to keep trophies of his victims, such as the heads seen in the room where Stevenson was in the library. He also has a certain level of intelligence, being able to locate Miles in the dark, looking inside lockers and under beds to see if he is hiding there. Throughout the story, Upshur must evade Chris on numerous occasions. One rather interesting feature of Walker is that he can access virtually every place in the building. Here are some of the times he attacks Miles. Walker throwing Miles into the administration block. When Miles leaves the library, where Walker's head collection is, he is seen entering room 205. Even if the player manages to reach him, he won't attack or give chase. A few seconds after Miles spots him, just as he's going through a narrow passage, he grabs Miles and throws him to the first floor of the administration block. When Miles Upshur enters the monitor room, Father Martin turns off the power, so he must go down to the basement to turn it back on. As soon as he gets up from the chair, Chris will enter the security room where he is. If Miles hides in one of the lockers, he will look at the control panel, open one of the lockers where he isn't and leave. If Miles doesn't hide, Chris will see him and chase him around in the room until he gets to the basement where he will lose sight of him and leave. After being sedated by the priest, Miles wakes up in the asylum prison. As he advances through the cell block, he will see how Walker rips the head off a security guard. He reappears in that same area after escaping the twins' first attack when Miles must activate one of the green gas sprinklers. Chris will enter that sprinkler and will continuously hit the glass of it to reach Miles. The sprinkler eventually breaks and bursts into flames, pushing Miles through a window a few floors below. Just when he gets up from that fall, Chris will jump into the room where Miles is, ready to attack. Walker returns in the sewers when Miles must lower the water to reach a lower intersection. He will make it difficult for him to find the valves to lower the water. Miles meets him again in the sewers in a flooded and unlit part. The lack of electricity favors him because he will only attack Miles if he gets too close to him or if he starts to climb the stairs to escape from that area. Even if he crouches low and quietly, when he reaches the stairs, Chris will track him down and will not stop chasing him, even if he tries to hide. Once Miles is done with Richard Trager, he must try to put out the fire in the cafeteria that Piro has started. As Miles tries to get to the sprinkler system valve area, Chris Walker reappears. After escaping from him in the outer courtyard, Chris appears again at the entrance to the courtyard of the women's pavilion. When Miles approaches that intersection, Chris will open the gate that led to the subzone, where he had previously appeared and attack. When Miles leaves the women's pavilion and enters the administration block, Chris will appear by breaking a door. 
The way to escape is by entering the second room on the left and sneak into the ventilation duct. After entering the chapel where Father Martin dies, Miles sneaks through a vent towards the elevator. Chris Walker appears for the last time in the underground laboratory, where he dies at the hands of the wallwriter and under the watchful eyes of Miles Upshur. Chris reappears in Outlast, Whistleblower, chasing Whalon on two occasions. The first time takes place shortly after Jeremy Blair has destroyed the cell block radio and attempted to kill Park. Hearing Chris Walker approaching, he runs away. As Waylon gets up and leaves the radio room, Chris throws a corpse at a door and bursts it open, and a few moments later, the large variant enters the room. Even if the player isn't spotted, when he tries to leave through the door through which he entered, he will see him and chase him down corridors until he manages to pass through a narrow passageway. The second time, when the protagonist passes through a dark corridor, he will open a door and chase the first, until he jumps through a window and falls on the roof of a building, landing outside the cell block. Chris Walker eventually dies at the hands of the wallwriter while trying to attack Miles. The reason why the wallwriter saves Miles at that moment is still unknown.